Hey everyone, uh, okay. So today we are going to discuss how to identify support and resistance levels in crypto um, in the simplest manner. Of course, there is a more sophisticated manner to do that, but I will not discuss that because like I always say, we're going to grow step by step. So this is the fourth lecture per se. And by now you should know how to use TradingView. You should have an account and you should have already played with it a bit. I hope so. If you are not practicing, there is no point of me making these videos and you watching these videos. You can never learn these by watching. So all you need to do is basically get to the practice. Okay. So let me change this chart. So by now you know candles and everything. Okay. So I don't need to explain anything to you. So let's change this to weekly. I'll get straight forward. So what you do is that, okay, uh, for support and resistance, uh, you need to go back a bit in time for larger time frames, you need to start from the back end to forward. But in smaller time frames, you can start from the front to um, backwards, which means that uh, you will see what I will do. Okay. First, I need to explain uh, what does it mean. Okay. So I'll try to explain it in the form of a building. Okay. So for example, this is your building, okay? And you have these multiple floors, okay? So someone lives here, okay, in this place. And then there is someone who is living there, okay? So for this person who is living here, okay, just a second. Oh, I need to delete this. I don't know why the hell my delete is not working. Seriously. Oh, my bad. Extremely sorry. Let me see if there's a control Z. Oh, there is. Okay. Okay. Okay, um, as I was saying that, yes, some, so this is your building, okay? It's uh, three stories, okay? And I wanted to basically go up so you could see better, okay? So here's someone who is living. For this person, this is floor, okay? This is a support where this person can stand. And this ceiling is resistance because it's a ceiling, okay? But what happens? If this person moves upwards to this floor, the moment they go to this floor, now what has changed? The change thing is that now this resistance, which was a ceiling for them, has now turned into floor. This is where they stand now. And this is their support. And now this is their ceiling, which is their resistance. The same concept applies in crypto where you have different levels of support and resistances and the crypto, when it's moving, it respects those zones, okay? So it's, it's a basic concept how we see in our real life as well. So it's straightforward. Now let me delete this. If you, I don't know if you guys would be awake. It's 11 p.m. here, so it would be pretty early there. Let me see. Actually, I should check if I can hear myself. Okay. Oh yeah, I can hear myself. <laughs> okay, anyway. So let's go to uh, weekly. So you start always with the big time frame. You can go for monthly if you want. I personally would keep it simple. I would go to weekly. Okay. Okay, I have one here already. It's my practice account for these videos that I make for you guys.
Wow. Okay. Let me delete. So you can see this is going back all the way up to 2018. Okay. So we don't want that much information um, because it's not relevant as of now. It's at $28,000 as we speak. So what we need is basically stuff um, around consolidation area. Okay. So um, three things that you need to um, see when you are deciding on support and resistance in simple manner that anyone can do. I'm going to show you the most simple method. If you have never done crypto, you can still do it. And it's not um, tough. It's very subjective. You can set your support and resistance at one level compared to me, and I can set it at different level. They would be a bit different, but not too much because the overall concept is same. Okay, so you need to set it at areas where you have a opening and closing of a candle so what it means is that two candles like this you see this they're opening and closing at the same place the body of it okay so for the sake of resistance i don't care about the wicks okay so i'm ignoring the wicks all i care about is the body by now you should know what is a wick and body if you have read that book uh, which i have recommended in previous videos uh, again, if you have not read, it's your own fault. And that, that's the one thing that you're going to look for is opening and closing of candle. You should find two candles that are opening and closing. Another example is this one. Another example is this one. And this one. So you can find a lot. Uh, another thing that you want to see is that there should be a bit of consolidation, which means a bit of up and down movement in the same place you cannot use something like this but you can use something like this you can use something like this something like this 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 but you cannot use this thing because it it, it doesn't give you two candles to begin with one second there is not much consolidation there's huge gap and you cannot decide on that when you see a lot of movements like this it means that there was a price war that went and each of these candles is a week which means that there was a fight for weeks in this region which means that this is a region where you see where you have a lot of liquidity where there is a lot of interest for both buyers and sellers for buyers it's an interest for it to go up for sellers it is an interest for it to go down okay so you can see that historically this place is a deciding place and when you put your support and resistance, that can pretty much tell you if it breaks, what will happen, okay? So we're going to set it, okay? For that, we are going to use the horizontal line. Uh, for shorter ones, we can use the horizontal ray. Ray basically comes, uh, wherever you leave it, it comes all the way to that zone. But uh, with the horizontal, it can go all the way backward in time. So for bigger time frames for weekly, I would recommend you to use this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to find some nice sensible areas. I would try to not make it very complicated. So you can see that we have here, like, oh, I said you always look backwards. So when you're deciding, you're not going to decide on these front candles, okay? You're going to decide on these back candles. This is how you're going to decide. You're going to look at these and then decide. You're not going to look at these and decide why because it's a bigger time frame the, this space is more reliable for a shorter time frame this space is more reliable and relevant so for four hours one hour 30 minutes 15 minutes this is more sensible for one day uh, one week one month and um, the back word information is more reliable because you have huge amount of data if you use it here, it doesn't make any kind of sense. Anyway, uh, we see a little bit of consolidation here. The major consolidation has actually happened here. Let me delete this. So <coughs> if you're looking for regions, this is 12,000. So it's not relevant for today. But this one is relevant. So you can see that we have few candles here. And we do have two candles that have an opening and closing. Okay, so these two and these two, 
but here you have another candle which in lines with these two as well so it gives you kind of a story of three instead of two so i would like to go for this one instead of that one so i'll pick this and feel free to ask questions okay if you have any questions feel free to ask them i would be more than happy to respond so i would change this color to yellow let's make weekly as yellow okay let's double click and call it weekly this is our weekly support okay and by looking at it you would know what is support what is resistance like i showed you in the building diagram it changes it flips and the size of 16 change the color to yellow as well so now it's written here so you can tell what it is uh, now let's look for another one another one we have here okay so we can use these because we have opening and closing of these candles here so this one is pretty sensible as well i mean it's not rocket science i told you it's basic logic because you see consolidation you have a reasoning for it okay and let's draw another one hmm. you can draw one here as well if you want to look at smaller time frames otherwise we can go here as well okay i would not go for smaller um, sizes it will be too much for our video it will just make our video very long so you can see an opening and closing here okay and that pretty much is in line with the other ones as well yeah it's not the perfect that it will do okay this is another weekly and let's try to have another one which should be here we have pretty much there's these two candles and these two are pretty much in line and yeah, we can pick any of them if we pick this covers a lot of candles as well so instead of this i think i like this one more so i'll go for this one which covers this anyway it doesn't matter that much so it covers these candles these candles pretty much everything so um i'll explain this on the spot one more time before i go for drawing daily and then four hourly and i will not draw more than that that would be too much for now and meanwhile i'll just look at the comments i'll see if there are comments okay uh let's see Can we make a band instead of line for support and resistance? Uh, yes, can we not make a band? Yes, you can, uh, but I want it to be very simple. Um, let's not uh, complicate things. Um, there's so many ways of doing it, but this is the most simplest way. And believe it or not, it works. If it didn't work, I wouldn't be talking about it. And so this is a question from Kesar Adnan. If you are asking questions on YouTube and other places, I don't know. I'm not looking at it right now. I'm just looking at the comments and information I'm seeing here in the group. But of course, we are live on YouTube and everywhere else. Okay, so let me explain, okay, uh, what has happened here so far. So as you can see clearly, my God, I hate free version. Okay, as you can see that this is a support from which it flew and entered another resistance and it broke through and it came down okay let me actually zoom so you could see what the storyline okay so until and unless you have a confirmation that a support and resistance is broken you can never decide if it's true and for that to happen it needs to have its body above it and not below it so you need to have some body above it 
even in this candle you can see somebody is above it the body of the candle is above this line which means this is a signal that uptrend is going to continue and this is a weekly candle so it makes it very strong and then you see another one it's again up so you if you had seen this one you might have decided to go for it and we can see it came all the way down here you, you see this wick but still it closed above why because this candle broke through the resistance and it was a signal of course this alone information is not enough but i'm just trying to isolate everything uh, considering that we only have these lines and the only thing that we see are these candles and we are deciding on the basis of just this limited information and then you can see it came here touched this so when this thing happened okay this was a sign that is going to break when this candle formed it was a clear indication that now this resistance is flipped into support the second candle confirmed it and now you can see this candle tried to break through this one tried to break through this one tried to break through nothing worked why because this candle did confirm that now the resistance has flipped into support and you can see it went up and then it went up and it broke through this resistance as well again same story the body of it closed above it and it was a confirmation then again the same story second candle did confirm that we are not going to go down it tried tried and it went up up all the way here trying to break through this but you can see this one tried to close above it didn't work out this one doesn't have a body above it but this one has a body above it but in the second candle we can see that the closing is actually downwards so we can see that it did try to break through this resistance but it didn't work out and that's why it started dumping okay and again it tested this support one time two times three times four times five six seven and then after testing it you, this is bearish uh, not sorry bearish <laughs> bullish engulfing uh, if you're studying candles and like i said we are only looking at candles so this bullish engulfing candle appeared which engulfed totally this bearish pattern and it indicated that okay now the trend is going to reverse this consolidation in this fight is over and you can see it went up and again the body of it closed above this um, resistance and this second candle confirmed that we won the fight it tried to dip in fight through again we received another signal that is not dying out and it continued to move up and here it showed an indication that it's going to go up up and it went only this much up until it came back and tested this support and it broke through and this is the story of support and resistance for the weekly that we drew and this is how you when you draw it you look at the story and you can tell what has happened you can do the similar thing for daily so you change the candles to daily and again of course you need to go back in time and you need to draw it based on the basis of that it really depends how back you want to go and uh, maybe you don't want to go that back uh, maybe you are just interested in these zones and these zones and that would be enough for you it really depends what you are looking for at this moment at this stage of time uh, because <coughs> we have kind of uh, covered the weekly one so we know the bigger resistances by the way uh, if you draw a resistance and a support for weekly, it's going to be way more respected and stronger compared to the daily. And of course, way more respected and stronger compared to the four hourly. And as you go low, it uh, becomes weaker and weaker. So these yellow lines are the strongest indicators that you have just drawn on the chart. The ones that we will draw right now for the daily, we will draw it in green. 
those would be the second strongest in terms and then if we draw for the four hourly they would be the least um, powerful supports and what that means is that when a candle decides to do this i mean when the chart wants to do this and it's a four hourly support um, or 30 minute support it can just slice through it and go all the way down that as you can see it doesn't matter how crazy it dips how crazy it is it usually holds and tries to respect the existing support even though it has flipped all the way down it tried to come back to the support it tried to break through this uh, support and try to go up it couldn't you can see touched 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 and okay it didn't touch the third time so it did a double tap kind of or three taps i don't know i need to zoom in to see and then it went down so you can see the level of respect that it has but now when we will draw daily and we will draw four hourly you would see that these things these dumps or same applies to the pumps they don't respect your um, smaller time frame resistances and supports but they do they do give you a very good story in the local area okay for four hourly we will be looking at it from this place instead of that place but for daily we will look at it from here okay so let's not get there okay you can look at that one as well but um, let's keep it simple let's not make the video longer than it should be you already understand concept okay so we are looking for our daily resistance and support okay we can see this pretty much all this opening and closing of these two candles so we can draw one here we should change the color of it where the hell did it go oh it's there okay we said we will make it green yeah and we will call it daily or we can just make it d we are not kids we can learn okay so d means daily and let's look at for other consolidation area where we can see we can see one here very clearly it pretty much in lines with everything yeah and maybe if we want to draw some more hmm let's see this is 16,000 I don't want to get into that let's keep it relevant to our existing story so maybe we want to draw only here because we don't have anything else apart from this and this is the beauty of historical data this gap it makes it very difficult so it means that if something drops from $32,000 then this space between is not um, something that you can rely on and this is scary in a sense that if this is the area of consolidation and this is the area of consolidation and this is the gap then in future when you're playing in this gap you're pretty much on your own <laughs> which means that it can pump as much and it can dump as much in this gap because there is no historic consolidation going on in this place so there is no support and resistance over there and that's why when i posted on the in the groups i said you know 32000 and 32000 has many other reasons as well but um, you can see for the $25000 why it was like this um, why we always say that if it falls down from 32 the next stop is going to be 25 and then after that we say it's going to be 22 you can clearly see why 22 and 25 make sense right so let's draw a line here it would be here somewhere around 25 okay even though i like this area more compared to that one to be very honest if you go back more in time maybe we would see something more oh, that's too bad okay there is nothing interesting going on there but yes for 20,000 there is support a little bit maybe for 20 oh there is nothing for 22 
Oh, this is the 22. Okay, so there is something for 22, but there is very little for 25. So pretty much our 25 story is relying only on this thing that has happened historically. We are talking about multiple, multiple years here, okay? So let's draw one more line here. Ah, I clicked again. By the way, if you guys are hearing sounds, it's my roommate dog and then cats coming around. <laughs> Apologies for that. Okay. Uh, so I think I like it more here. Okay. This makes more sense. Yeah, there are more candles here. More consolidation. And yeah, it's a better story. Again, I'm looking at this opening and closing of two candles body. Okay, I'm not going blind. I'm not breaking rules. I'm still following that. Okay, so you have these two. And then these candles are kind of respecting it as well. And this is 24,000. Strangely, not even 25. This is your 25. Okay, 25 is pretty bad. Uh, but you can see this reaction from 25. So that's why it makes a bit sense that when it came down to 25, which was not so much of a support, but it did have a reaction, pretty big one from here. And there is not much data behind that. So yeah, I think this is a better level than 25. Now, as we are drawing lines. Okay. Uh, so I think this is pretty much it uh, for the daily. So I'm going to name them. Okay. Now we are done with the daily as well. And again, you can see the story very clearly in the area of green. Okay, that it's respecting this. It's going up, but it's failing. It's coming down. It's again trying to break. It's coming down. It's trying to hold and it's failing. It's going down. And then, of course, it's playing on our weekly support. And then the weekly fails and it goes down. Uh, the, each of these candles are daily. By now, you should know. Okay. Now let's go to four hours candles. Okay. So now you're going to look at it from this place, okay? From the front instead of back. And this is good amount of information. It goes, yeah, all the way almost to April. I can zoom out a bit more, but then it makes it very difficult to see. Uh, we can't see candles properly, so I'll keep it in a way that at least we could see candles a bit. Okay, so let's draw some support and resistance line lines I'll delete this one so we see some consolidation here so this is four hourly okay let me take oh we're going to use this one sorry horizontal ray okay and you will right now see how it works okay so I'll delete this and just again trying to zoom in to see my eyesight is weak too. I, I must be looking very weird in the laptop camera. Okay. Anyway, so we see closing and opening of these two candles here and these here as well. Hmm. But I see more candle reactions here as well. So this one makes a better storyline. I'll drag it a bit more here. I'll try to make it thinner. 1x. And so that was green, yellow. Let's make this one red. Not so nice color. 
anyway so we will do it as four hours we'll change this to it's not red actually it's pink i don't know which pink is it it's dark pink something like that so for four hours uh, you can draw a lot of lines okay because it's a small time frame you can do a lot we i see two candles here okay i see some candles here as well so i can draw there as well and then we will go forward and see we are still sitting backwards not a good idea i'll draw one here while we are here okay and let's draw one here as well okay so now let's go forward in time we are sitting way below i mean this story is way below so this there is a bit of support we see at twenty six thousand dollars if this thing crashes down and then we see that the, another one is at twenty five thousand dollars oh there is your 25 <laughs> it's at four hours okay i was wondering where the hell is the 25 okay so there is your 25 and there is your 26 but like I said, uh, four hours are not so much reliable. Daily are more reliable uh, uh, in the longer uh, run. And of course, in terms of crashes and all that. Okay, now let's make some more wonderful lines here. We can see this is a favorite area as well. Because of these two candles. Four hour and we have pretty much good consolidation here and here as well. Let's go for these ones. This would kind of make sense with the this part as well. And this part as well. Yeah. And of course, it's uh, in line with the story in front as well. So we can see okay, uh, I don't want to draw any more lines. I think this is enough of a storyline. You understand what is going on here. If you want, you can draw some lines here as well. I mean, the support and resistance levels some people might be getting angry for me to call it lines it's because of these two and then let's take some from here it would be because of these okay because we have a lot of consolidation here so i'll take this Okay, this is four hourly and this is again four hourly my god it's getting hot canada's weather is the most stupidest weather it gets cold it gets hot one day it's 28 degrees another day it's three degrees anyway so okay we have these lines now in place and now let's look at our overall story okay so we can see this is we can have one more actually this massive consolidation around this zone as well if we want to yeah we can have actually so I'll be using these two as a level because it, it's coming from the front again. Okay, and it relies, I mean, the story makes sense with the backward and the overall front as well. So let me stretch it. Yeah. And this is all matter of practice okay 
it's not a rocket science it's a very simple procedure okay now we can see i chose red very bad uh, pink not a good decision to be honest i would have i should have gone for white it would have made my life easy but anyway uh, so it is what it is so right now we can see we want to tell a story so what is going on here we can see that this one tried to break through this resistance it was support okay it broke through it went down this is four hourly so it's not a long story it again went up and tried to stay on the support then again it broke and as you can see this body let's get zoom then so you can see easy story this body closed above okay like every time the body closes above then one candle went up it should have gone up but the second candle again closed down and it's four hours not so much reliable information you can see the fluctuation okay and it kind of tried to um, invalidate what this was indicating what this was indicating but as you can see the story still held okay it tried but it failed what we saw as the first signal okay so we saw that the body closed and it went above stayed above it came down a bit again the same signal indication then again it went down but again the same story body closes up second very big candle and it goes all the way here pierces through this resistance and it closes starts closing above it and makes it a support our next support as well and then we can see that this is our daily uh as this is daily resistance for this one and it pierces through it and tries to close above and then second candles and then dumps a big pretty big these are for our um, candles so you would see a lot of fluctuations in it but if you look at the uh, daily candles the story would make a bit more sense and that's why your swings are more uh, easy to tell compared to your four hourly so right now if we look at the four hourly chart we can see that the only other thing that it can touch here which it did try to come and touch here is this one it's 27,500 which in the past it touched and it moved up and it has slept on it pretty much a lot and if you go back again in the past it touched it and it went up it touched it and it went up every time and there's huge amount of consolidation here and you can see that every time it has touched this it has gone up this time it didn't even come down that far to touch it maybe this candle will do it would come and touch it and maybe go up but uh, you can see how these um, levels work and you can use these levels for trading at a smaller time frame if you're looking for scalps maybe you want to do 30 minutes right so if you go into 30 minutes then it's more juicy and it's more sensible <laughs> as why you would do it when you were looking at four hour d this space seemed very tight and very small but when you come to 30 minutes then it makes more sense and this is how you do scalping if you're looking for one day scalps this is how you do now you can see that all these four hours they're pretty massive and the zones are pretty big and now if it comes down and touches this place and it gets a bit of reaction it goes up you would take a trade i mean why not from 27,502 where the hell is our ruler so it comes down here and th th there is our resistance right so we say previously this was the high so we say it goes as close as that right we don't want to risk it still you can see it's a two percent two percent of a trade with a bit more reliable information as from where you can long it and as these are 30 minutes candles you have smaller time frame you have nothing to worry even though you have fomc tomorrow 
Um, you have all kinds of bad news that could come and go, but you don't care about in the 30 minutes candles or 15 minutes candle because these candles are purely, purely um, driven by TA and the news will not affect it unless you are trading while there is a FOMC meeting going on. That's plain stupidity. But if you're trading um, when there is no news around it, again, you, like I have told you in previous videos, you can check the upcoming events. So you can pretty much easily trade it and you, you wouldn't see so much of um, volatility, huge volatility uh, in terms of uh, 30 minute candles. And so you can easily trade them uh, by identifying your resistance levels and supports. And even though when you were sitting with four hour candles, these things, they look very tight and small, but that's not the case. And of course we are talking about leverage trading here. And um, let's say you are a medium level trader and you're using 20, 20X with a 2%, that's 80% profit. <laughs> so 80% is pretty nice. And <clears throat> you can see how much this one was. One point six, not bad. Even if it's one percent, you are doing a twenty x. That's twenty percent of profit for you right there. And yeah, okay. Uh, I think this is pretty much it. I'll see if there are any questions or comments by any chance. Otherwise, we are pretty much done with our support and resistance. Oh. We have pretty much. Okay. I say, as Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam, Ahmad. I say, brilliant. Thank you. Okay. Someone asked for the YouTube channel link. Okay. It has been shared. Nice. Okay. Uh, if you guys have any other questions, feel free to ask. Okay, uh, it's 11.30 p.m. It's almost time for me to go to bed. I didn't sleep well last night either. And yeah, anyway, uh, so let's change this to four hours. It doesn't make any sense at all. You can see now all these four hour uh, candles, <laughs> they um, seem to be very, very tight. And if you go to weekly, I think it would combine into one solid color. Yeah. <laughs> you can see pretty much why weekly candles don't respect it. It can be just one candle that would go like swoop and it will go through all these four hour leads it wouldn't respect it the same goes for daily daily wouldn't respect these either daily are strong candles as well and weekly are monstrous candles so that's why it's very important to know what time frame you're trading what is your trading strategy and all the stuff i've already discussed in all these past videos and it helps to understand in identifying how Bitcoin is going to move around and do what instead of going blindly. Still, even if you have the weakest TA out there and you are drawing these lines, you're still doing better than 80% or maybe 90% of the people who have no idea uh, when they're trading. Unless you're investing, then it's no rocket science. You see Bitcoin at $16,000, it's logical to buy. Anyway, uh, thank you so much, everyone, for joining me today. I have no idea how long this video is right now. Uh, 44 minutes, my God. Okay, this is too long. Um, thank you so much. It was a pleasure speaking to all of you. Oh, there is a question. It's from YouTube. Thank God I looked at it. It's from Mohsin Ali. Okay, here I can see questions. Okay. So is there any concept of weak support and resistance? And if we have, then how to find it? Yeah, I've just explained it uh, most in early. Uh, if you're looking at bigger time frame story 
and you're looking at your support and resistance of four hours like here this is as weak as it can be in weekly four hours doesn't make any sense same goes for your daily supports and resistances it doesn't make much difference in weekly either for weekly these are your strong levels okay these are the strong ones that you would look at and when you're looking at 30 minutes chart then four hour uh, support and resistance would be pretty strong because it's 30 minutes chart so the four hours um, support and resistance they would be respected a lot and if you decide to draw five uh, you go to five minutes candles and you draw lines there for support and resistance of course you can do but then that would be only strong for the one minute chart because it's five minutes and the rest of the candles wouldn't care about it at all you can test it yourself go to five minutes draw your support and resistance and you would see it valid invalidates like this but with these they they are more meaningful because they are bigger time frames so these levels are more supported more stronger and these decisions that have been made here or it coming all the way down and all this consolidation all this stuff is at a very large time frame so it's not just one person or one institution or a retail investor deciding this it's the decision of the overall market because this is all the way from 16 may 2022 to may 2023 this is one year you see this is one year of consolidation just between these two levels one year has been spent in these two levels and i mean give and take um, if i had to run uh, a bot maybe i would maybe run it here from this spot a grid bot i'm talking about from here to here or maybe keep it open to here so i would run it of course i always like to give it buffer so even if i see some clear indication that these are the zones based on this because we didn't draw this from the front if you remember <laughs> we drew it on the basis of here and when you go forward it did turn out to be true we did the same thing here we didn't draw it on the front we drew it on the back data but when you look at the forward it would turn out to be true here or if it dumps then it would turn out to be true here when we will draw from this information even though these lines seem very silly they have a very very meaningful story and you it's right in front of you you can clearly see that i did i drew it in front of you i was looking at this place and this place when i was drawing these two lines and you can see that even though it was based on historic data and the future kind of lived through it it was bouncing all the way here just because of this of course there would be more data back in the back and maybe it's 26 i don't think there would be more data yeah this this okay so this line is not 26 or it's 20. yeah so this would be 2020 or 2017 yeah okay so just this okay so you have some data here it touched this place and it couldn't break even when you go backward <laughs> the story adds up so it's very funny it's and because it's very simple and still when you look at the overall story it adds up you look at the story and that even though i didn't check this you can see that it did act as res resistance for this all this stuff that is living here it tried to came here and touch it and went all the way down and then so many years later it came again here it had a fight and it went through it and then it had a fight here for a good amount of time and then it blew through this and then how we completed our one year and came down anyway uh this is how you draw and this is your weak and uh, strong levels this is how you tell okay uh okay we're getting more and more questions <laughs>
which time frame is good to make decisions at. It really depends what you're doing. Like I always say, uh, what kind of a trader you are, what kind of risk appetite you have and all that stuff. Like um, if I'm doing scalping, good time frame for me would be five minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes. Or if I want to go for my own times, I would go for 12 minutes, 24 minutes, something like that. These are odd ones, but you can use the general ones as well. It doesn't matter. All I'm trying to say is look at the smaller time frame because I'm trying to do scalping. So if I go for 15 minutes, now I have to adjust this all the way again. For 15 minutes, these four hour levels are huge, very huge. Just look at this. You cannot even see it in one screen. So there is no help. So you need to draw more lines because it's 15 minutes. This is four hourly. Maybe you need to draw lines for one hour and then you would have a better story of levels of resistance and support. Then you would be able to tell what to do in 15 minutes. But you cannot use 15 minute candles based on these four hourly because it's too much of a big space. Of course, it gives you some level of confidence that, OK, if it close, gets close to this, you can um, after uh, validating, OK, like, for example, you were here. It came all the way down here and you wanted to um, trade this, you wanted to short it. OK, you cannot, of course, long it because for long you need to be here. So you wanted to short it. You went, <clears throat> you looked at this candle. It closed above, which is bullish. This candle, again, bullish uh, because it's above. But then you waited for the third one and it went all the way down. It went all the way down. It closed again here. And you waited again to see this candle. It is again struggling. Then this candle is again struggling. And then this candle again went down. And I think maybe around this candle, I'll take a trade <clears throat> because it is getting distant. It's getting smaller. And I would pretty much think that, OK, now it's going to go down in a very small um, time frame. <clears throat> Sorry, what happened to my voice? <clears throat> so I'll take this trade maybe from this candle that when it's done, I would be pretty much confident that, OK, this thing is not getting better. So I'll short it from here, from this zone. And how far would I go? I would try to get as close to uh, possible to as this one. So I took a trade from there. OK, and I came all the way down. And here it started consolidating, going up and down, going up and down. This is where I would pretty much lose my confidence, thinking that, OK, maybe this thing can go back up again. And I'll leave it. And this is 1.3%. I mean, it's good money. And it's how much time. So sorry, let me actually do it properly. So it was this candle. And it came down and I want to sell it here because it's consolidating here, even though it's going to go more down. But I don't know. We don't we're not profits or anything. So this is two hours, 30 minutes. So in two and a half hours, you have made 1.3 percent of profit. on, um, And of course, it depends on your leverage. So assuming you're doing 20 X, you're a medium level trader, you have made uh, around 25 percent in two and a half hours 25 percent profit that's too much you close your charts you take your day off and you're done <laughs> you're done for the day you had a good trade and you moved on so it's as simple as that uh, so it really depends which time frame to use uh, as what you are doing uh, in the market okay my battery is going to die now. Thank you, everyone, for joining. It was a pleasure speaking with you. See you in next session. Take care. Bye.